If you haven't experienced it yet, this is a sign of a bad battery tender junior. I simply remove the case from the battery tender junior with the three screws. Here's what it looks on the inside. And there's the dead capacitor. Here I pulled apart a little bit more so you can get a better look at it and work on it. Here's the new capacitor. You can see the one on the left. I have trimmed the lead on it. The short leg is the negative. I simply use my soldering iron and heated up the solder on the back and pulled the capacitor out. It'll take a little bit of effort and you have to pull one leg at a time unless you have two soldering irons in your hand. Uh, and then you push in the new capacitor and heat up the solder again and it hopefully will slide right in. Here's the capacitor now in place. Note the paper shield, make sure that's back into place too. Reassemble. Here you can see a properly operating battery tender junior repaired with a new capacitor. Both of my, my battery tender juniors had died and I fixed them both with new capacitors. These capacitors cost me about $5 for five of them, although you can find them for different prices out there.